we'll do, we'll flash the landing light. But just to make sure everyone knows that we've got to start. Brakes on. Glad, bro. All we gotta do is let our eyes adjust to um, the, the panel. I was gonna get something to put over that. Uh, what do we need? Is sticky tape. Not the end of the world, but see how um, that's got a light sensor on it, a dark light sensor, and this the nav light here. The shine on the panel shines straight into it. Oh, and it keeps it really bright. Maybe put your finger over it, it goes nice. Oh, so you would something over that hole? Yeah, the little sensors. I normally put a bit of blue tack on it. Got to bring some. Um, what's an alternative? What if I got a little. See if I got a sticky note or something. Fish it, yeah. I'll be able to wet one and put it over. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, you. you do that and see what you can do. It's not the end of the world, but it, um, yeah, it'd be nice. Just, yeah, it'd be a bit less bright, you know. What I'm going to do is go ahead and listen to the AWIS. Right, when ready to set flight level 25, viewpoint 11, humidity 70%, rainfall last 10 minutes, nil. Toowoomba, AWS aerodrome weather, wind 0, 090, 0, degrees magnetic 18 knots, QNH 1018 hectopascals, temperature 17, cloud clear below 1, 2,000 feet, visibility 10 kilometers, dew point 11, humidity 70. Right, 0, 090 0, 18 knots, so we got a pretty good. Pretty good wind, though. The wind is zero one zero. Zero nine zero. Oh, right. oh right. What are the um, airstrip directions here? One one and two nine. Yeah, oh, we we'll right use yeah. one one. Um. Now we've got to put runway lights on. Toowoomba, Palk, activated. Didn't that put the lights on? Yeah, that's so cool. Toowoomba, Palk, activated. Um, when we turn the lights on at um, 8.50. They last for half an hour. Oh, okay, and that's like if, it, if we're up for 40 minutes, you'll just do the same thing. Yeah, so what happens is, well, I'll talk you through it. The windsock will start flashing, the lights around the windsock will flash oh, 10 right. minutes before um, before it actually stops. That's pretty handy. So, when you that's part of your downwind checks, you know, when you do your downwind checks, you know, everything else, yeah, where you look around to see if the windsock's flashing because the last thing you want is the lights to turn off on the runway <laughs> just as you land, yeah. So, uh, that'd be a bit annoying. And you sort of just do that three thing to... Yeah, so you trigger the push to talk. Um, there's different ones, but a PAL, yeah, three one second transmission. Well, um, we'll activate it. Yeah. And it tells you in the, you know, the Ursa thing. That uh, book with all the runway information. Yep. That tells you everything you need to know. Oh, about right. The lights and the, the backup systems and... Because, you know, like, if you're relying on the system here, 
coming in and the power in town goes off. You know, they they got a generator and it, it switches on within 15 seconds. Bumper. All right. Alright, so obviously going to use one one, so we'll just do a radio call. Make sure it's working. Call me traffic, so it's the 172. Echo Golf Lima is taxiing for one one, local Toomba traffic. Toomba Seacat, 127.65. The thing with, um, night. Um, taxiing as well is you you can go a lot faster than you really you think you are. Oh, right. that's interesting. Yeah, so obviously this is an active, uh, not an active runway, but it is a runway. Oh, it's a grass cross strip. In the daytime, you do a call saying you're crossing. Obviously, at night time, no one's going to abuse it. Oh, lit. Right. Yeah, but right. so you just check, to make sure it's clear. So they say with taxiing at night, go what you think you should, the speed you should be think you go, and then go a bit slower. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and that way, you're um, going the right speed. And taxi on the line in the daytime, yeah, you wiggle around a bit. Oh, yeah. Whereas you can't see really your obstacles, so if you know you taxi down the middle, well, you're going to be right. Uh, I'll go in the run up by here. Turn in the wind. And we'll put this on a heading bug for runway, which is 1 1, so 1 1 0. And that way, when we take off, because when we take off, what we're going to do, as soon as the runway lights disappear from the underneath, they try and look for them. As soon as they're sort of disappearing, we're down here. Make sure we've got a positive angle, a oh, positive right. rate of climb, and we're going to maintain 70 knots. Because at night, the G4 is not so bad in a 172 because there's hardly any power, but on something that has a lot of like pressure force, it mucks up your eyes and your head and your brain and and with a with a black, especially taken off in the black space, you think you're climbing, but in fact you're actually just blasting along. And a lot of people, experienced people, even have hit the deck yeah, well, um, when they think they were climbing. Easy thing to do, which is not instinctual unless you've been trained, yeah. is to just focus on your instruments and trust them. Yeah, cause because if you're doing 70 knots in this aircraft, we know we're climbing at full power, and this uh, VSI is positive, right? And we're climbing on the altitude. You yeah. know, we're going to be going up, regardless yeah. of what our head's telling us. Yeah, because a lot of training, like early on, is sort of keep your head out of the cockpit, hey? But then yeah. that's right. So instrument flying is the opposite. I mean, we're night VFR, so we still got to keep a visual on other aircraft and whatnot. So we can't completely be like this. So, but you do glance up and you look outside, and, and we'll be obviously seeing lights and stuff. Yeah. But that initial takeoff, when you're taken off into what they call a black hole, there's literally nothing under you, uh, and just a big black, you know, expanse. That's when you really need to. As soon as the runway light's gone, or or you, as soon as you lift off, really, there's no need to be looking outside anymore. In here, keep keep your heading. Yeah, and climb out. And yeah. Pretty right. Yeah. Toowoomba traffic, Cessna 172, Echo Golf Lima is entering and backtracking 11 one, one, Toowoomba. Toowoomba Seacat, 127.65. I was back to most of the runway, especially at night. I think the check too is everything's going right and that's not uh, no, not banking over. Oh, yeah. And cumbers turning, cumbers turning, turn and bank is working. And then go back to the left as well. 
Oh, and that's right. staying straight. That, that's your attitude. When you got no horizon, that's what we're using. So that's pretty cool. But yeah. that's there and, and the suction, which I checked in the run up. But right, oh, we're buckled up. Yep. All right, doors are shut. Fuel's on both. Let's do this. Tormer traffic, Cessna 172, Echo Golf Lima, rolling 1 1 for circuits. Tormer. Right, oh. The airspeed's alive. They're pushing for Paco's the right power. There's 40. 50. Or we'll rotate. Tap the brake. Now, okay, so, so the runway's starting to gonna disappear in a minute. Yep. So what I want to do is 70 knots. I'm looking inside now, so 70 knots, positive rate of climb, positive angle. And we're going up, and I'm not looking outside because I don't need to right now. Yep. I just want to get off the ground, get away. Laps are already up. Obviously, I'd now glance outside, look and make sure we don't know the aircraft in. And turn the landing light off. So that's now 500 feet. We can turn crosswind, clear left. look really big, hey? It does, it makes all towns look big, it's amazing. Yeah. That's so cool. If it's too cold, you can push that in. Oh, right. off. And if you're getting cold, there are heaters here somewhere. Yeah, that's all right. So that's our circuit high. So we can turn it down, win. Obviously at night, you don't do anything ridiculous like turning and stuff. Yeah. Try and keep it all fairly um, to date. Yep. I was actually a turn. We try and do all turns, IFR, and uh, or any instrument flying, you try and do Ray 1 turn, which is what you, um, you can use a turn coordinator for that. Yeah, right. Bit of turbulence. Yeah, put us up 100 feet. Yeah, that's amazing. Probably be causing turbulence at this time. Oh, that wind. 18 knots of wind oh, yeah. coming over those mountains. Right, so this is your downwind. So normally you do your brakes are off, your feet are on the floor, undercarriage is fixed on this, fixtures are rich. we got plenty of fuel and it's on both. So then, now you check the windsock, and I'm not sure if you can see it out there, but see that... Oh, I can oh, see it, yeah. but see how it's... You confirm it's not flashing. Yeah, right. it's got the so red light either side of it. That's right. So when you do that on downwind, so that's if you're on final and you start and you see it flashing, well you know you're right because um, it, you confirmed it wasn't flashing on on downwind. Yeah, yeah. There's that turbulence again. That's yeah, not very well. nice, is it? No. All we're gonna do is turn a face, try and keep control. Tormba traffic, Echo Golf Lima is turning base 1-1, one, one, touch and go Tormba. Oh, we still check, mate. No one's on final. Like, we're on the wrong frequency or something.
Now obviously we got that 18 knot headwind now, so I'm probably a little bit far out, but uh, I'll put a bit of power in. Now see those, they got two red lights and two white lights. That's what they call oh, a yeah. glide slope pappy. So if you got two on two, two red and two white, which is what we do, means we're on the glide path. So if we get too low, you'll get three red or four red if you're really low. And if you got um, three or four white, it means you're too high. Right. So what we want to do, if we maintain two red and two white, I normally, in Toowoomba especially on 1-1, one, one, I normally try and do three, red, two, three white and one red, just like it is now. Yeah, right. Yeah. Just so that we can um, go a little bit high, especially over these sheds, because you get a lot of sink. Yeah. Down behind the hill. And so do you fly looking out now? Yeah, absolutely. I've been looking yep. outside now the whole time, yep. Yeah, yeah. It's just that takeoff line. Yeah, right. We've actually got four white there, so we're a bit high, but I'm happy with that because this thing gets down pretty quick. And normally, as a rule in Toowoomba, there's plenty of sink right over these sheds. Yeah, that's the bird. And you gotta get into it. Or you don't really, I'd rather be high. And with that 18 knot too. That's right. This has got a pretty good landing light, but some aircraft don't. Yeah. But honestly, you, you sort of look out the window anyway and use the um, side, side lights. Yeah. Probably just a little bit high, but it'll, it'll settle. There we go. Flaps away. Get going. Full power. Air speed's coming up. Rotate. Break. Ball in the middle, runway's going, so there we got 70 knots, positive angle, positive rate of climb starting to happen. Yep. It's not so bad in Tom because you got all those lights, but if you're in um, you know, some of the western places, yeah. where you, your airstrip's on the outside of town, and, um, yeah, I can imagine just nothing. Flaps the rock. Is that flap, do you hold it or just click it to a position? You've got to hold it to put it down and then it'll click it and it'll also go up by itself. Oh, okay. Okay. There are certain um, Cessna models that have a slide. Yeah, but yep. this is an old girl, yeah, it just has a toggle switch. That's our 500 feet. Turn left. 